seas are better off. It is freezing and that sea is pretty choppy. When I say it's freezing, I am not kidding. It's coldest it's been for days. And there's a guy here and he's got t-shirt and shorts on. That is just so British, isn't it? It certainly brings out the inner child in you, doesn't it? Big waves. I love, I love watching big waves. It used to be great at Scarborough when I was little. Look at some over here, hang on. I hope that guy didn't walk past just as that. Uh, Big wave was coming and ruined the shot. As any YouTuber will tell you, motorbikes, dogs, and kids, the bane of your life. I've just been stopped by a subscriber. Hello Joe, nice car by the way mate, <laughs> he's just told me a beach to go and look at down here, it's about a mile away so I'll drive and apparently they filmed some scenes from Alien there, so it sounds interesting and then we'll go and look at the other coves. So this bit along the front is quite nice, uh, we've got a few nice looking restaurants, nice bar there. And another bonus, see I'm doing all positives about CM because this is what I want to do. Uh, free parking on this bit. I mean, I was lucky to get a spot. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is jump in the van, head to this sea glass beach, then head back down to the other beach, what George just told me about, have a look around there. And then I've realised I'm not that far from Saltburn, Saltburn on Sea? Is it Salt? Yeah, so I've stayed there before. There's a cracking park up. And uh, I'll take you with me. I've done it before, but I think I'll save myself and have some tea there tonight. There's a good fish and chip shop there as well. If it might not be open though when I get there. But there's a pub, there's the ship in, I think. We'll go and have a look at that as well. My mum's told me to come and get some sea glass because she wants to know what it's like. I think my mum and my sister want to come, but I think it's a bit of a thing on the internet at the moment and everybody's come. There'll be none left. I don't know where it comes from. I think there was a glass factory that dumped a load of glass at the sea, apparently. I don't know. That might be what's happened. All these parking spots have been completely free so far, so a fair play to Durham, I think it's Durham Council, isn't it? Yeah. Fair play to them. I ain't going to be getting any stones on this beach because when I say the tide's in, the tide's really in. Oh dear. So I'm coming down all these steps to get no glass. I guarantee it. Look at this, they're all at it. It's pandemonium. Talk about a phenomenon. <laughs> How things catch on. There's none left. That woman's got it all. She's got knee pads and everything. Complete waste of time. Look at them, as far as I can see. 
See, all I'm finding is regular stone. Oh, what's that here? It's just regular stones. Oh, I've got a bit. Look at that. Can you see that? <laughs> That's it. Oh, another bit. Oh, I'll be able to set a business up here. I'll be able to start selling all this. Oh, another bit, look. Oh, it's all happening now. I've found the main main supply. Put that in my pocket, that. Before anybody else cottons on. Another bit. Another bit. I don't know what I'm going to make out of these. I think I might make a nice necklace or something. I think I'll call it a day now. I'm a bit bored of this. It's a bit, oh, a green one there, look. Look at that. And another white one. So my advice, if you're thinking of coming to see them for some uh, sea glass, my advice is don't bother. Because there's loads of steps to get down. I'm absolutely knackered. Let me show you what I've got. That's it, that's the grand total. And I think one of them's just a stone. But I'll give it to my daughter, she'll like them. So that's it down there. I'm not sure how we get to it, but I can see people there. Unfortunately, I've not got my hiking shoes on because I didn't think I was going to be doing this. So I'm just in my trainers. So here we are, Blast Beach. That behind me is where they filmed the opening scene of Alien 3, apparently. I've just looked that up and they put some cranes on the top. Uh, obviously they weren't real. I'm going to have to go back up top because it's just so difficult to walk on this. You're sinking in. I'm knackered. you think they'd do a footpath, wouldn't you? Let's go back up here. It's probably just as bad up here. I'm going to head to Saltburn by the sea and uh, go for some tea there and uh, a park up in a, a cracking little place I know. It's been on one of my other videos so you'll see it. So that's me parked up for night. I've just been talking to a couple, Michael and Nicola and the dog Roxy and they're in the van next to me. And I was going to go to the ship in. Somebody's got a fire on me. It's a ship in pub, which is just along here. But they've told me to come to another one up on the top. So I'm going to go there. And if I don't like it, it's your fault. <laughs> I love this park. It's absolutely brilliant. And if you if you arrive after six, it's free until eight in the morning. So this is the place where they've told me to come. It looks a bit posh. I don't know if I want to sit in there on my own. It's not like a pub, it's like a, a restaurant thing. I've come in the quiet room at the back because the other room around the front's quite busy. And I, I don't want to feel like Billy Noel now. That 
weren't too bad for like a hotel pub type thing I mean it was cod and cod's rubbish but uh, I can't complain really and there were lovely staff in there as well so I'm just going to head down onto the front I might have a walk on the pier I'll see how cold it is and then I'm going back to my van to get all cosy to have a walk on the pier Those lights in the distance there. Is that Hartley Pool? I'm not sure. But look at the hazy lights here. How beautiful is that? There she is, my tiny little van. This is my spot for the night. Wait till you see the mess in my van. I've got to tidy it all up. So I'm just going to do that quickly now. I can't be bothered to make bed. I might just sleep on the single bed. I do that sometimes. You know when you get in bed and you just can't be bothered? I just do the single bed. I might do that tonight. Move me bread cakes. Right, I'm in bed. <laughs> that needs turning off. That's my internet, you see. I've got a spare phone for internet. And that's on charge in there. And I'm excited. Get up there. That's not going to work, is it? I'm excited because I found a, a World War II, a new World War II documentary. I'm dead excited about this. I hate that. They've got to dumb everything down, haven't they? You can't watch a, like, a, a serious documentary. and they've, So what they've done, it's about World War II. And they've got somebody talking like he's talking to kids. In it, check this out. This is what the Germans did, in it. They just can't leave out alone, can they? It's like some chuffing gangster rapper. I mean, that's just ridiculous. A serious documentary about World War II narrated by chuffing Coolio. I'll probably carry on for a moment. There you go. Do me face. Oh, that's that is lovely, lovely warm towel. Oh. Get behind your ears. Don't forget behind your ears. And in your ears. Potatoes and sprouts. <laughs> I think that's something my mum used to say. So there you go. That's my face done. Obviously, I'm not going to film the rest of me, and I'll just do like that. <laughs> and then my bits and my bobs. And uh, yeah, and then I'll get changed, change my underwear, put some deodorant on, all that sort of stuff. And I'm, it's, you know, I'm quite fresh. I won't want to do it for a, too many days in a row, but, <laughs> you know, a couple of days, it's fine. And there you go. All clean and fresh. Ta da! I ain't got my socks on yet. I've just given my feet a good clean as well. Because <laughs> you neglect your feet sometimes, don't you? Oh dear, I don't know. Because there's not much water. It's a very 
environmentally friendly way to live to be honest I mean there's just a tiny little bowl of water there I've got so with all my breakfast uh, and getting a wash and brushing my teeth and everything when I've brushed my teeth I'll not even use a full one of them so yeah that's not bad is it you know when I, I started out you watch a lot of videos don't you and it's like with food people like have cupboards full of food in the vans and you just don't need to do that and with water I'd have big containers full of water you don't need them not in England you don't because you can fill up anywhere there's supermarkets everywhere and it's same with food like I've said I store all my food in the supermarket and I'm not going I'm not a big fancy cooker and I think a lot of people on YouTube they'll do all the cooking and it's for content isn't it but they're not cooking all the time it's like this afternoon I'll just go and get a sandwich from Asda I just want to keep it real I'm not going to sit here doing smashed avocado on toast and cooking these elaborate meals I'll do it well I'll never cook an elaborate meal but I'll do cooking occasionally for you to see just for, for a bit of content so I'm going to brush my teeth just tie it back at van and then I'm going to let's have a look through my skylight look at that it's clearing up guys how exciting is that so it looks like we will be able to get to uh, Robin Hood's Bay and have a quick look round before heading into Bridlington to see my little angel Here I go to see again the sunshine fills my head and dreams hang in the air goes in the sky and in my blue eyes you know it feels unfair it's magic air Look at me standing here on my own again. I'm straight in the sunshine. No need to and hide. It's a wonderful, wonderful life. No need to. It's a wonderful, wonderful life. Isn't it a beautiful place? I, I forget every time I come, I'm always reminded how beautiful it is, and there's all these little look at this little alleyway here. Because you're there. Coffee shop up there, cafe, that's a good view. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Robin Hood's Bay for me is one of the best places you can come. A lot of people talk about Stades, which is just up the road, which is also a beautiful place. But for me, Robin Hood's Bay is just that bit better. Absolutely love it here. Look at me here. Straight 
Look at that, look at that just running through your garden, that's lovely. Anyway, I'm going to head to this cafe because it's starting to rain just up this way. So I've sort of done a loop. So it's one of them days when it can't make its mind up, it's stopped raining again. So I've come to sit outside and take advantage of the wonderful view. I don't know if you can hear it, but that seagull's tapping on the window. There's obviously something in there it wants. Well, that was very nice. I'm now about to head back to the van. I've got a few hours to kill before I pick my daughter up. So, what to do, eh? Who knows? They're really beautiful. You've done a fantastic job. Yeah, it's very sort of inspiring, isn't it? So what? What a little gem that was. I've uh, stumbled upon that little pop-up shop, and the lady was called Jax, and she's. I bought a little picture for my mum. I'll show it you in a minute when I get in the van. back in the van it's that typical British weather the sun's shining again one minute it's raining then it's windy and I'm like red hot now so anyway I went in that shop and that was a lovely lady she's given me her details I'll put them up on screen she's called oh I need my glasses Jax and it was Jax Art she's got a Facebook page but she's got that little pop-up shop there uh, and she got some lovely paintings and I bought this for my mum let me take the sticker off because it's got the price on. Yeah, so I bought that little picture for my mum for in the caravan. That's nice, isn't it? That was just £20. You know, and there's quite a bit of sort of detail on it. There's a lot of sort of work goes into that. So, I'm sure my mum will love that. But then I couldn't leave my dad out, so there's a, a brewery in Robin Hood's Bay, a local brewery, so I've got my dad a couple of beers. Press Gang's Arrival and Whitby Heritage, so them's two beers for me dad. So happy days. Right, I'm off to Bridlington now to pick up my daughter. Thank you for watching this video. Again, I think it's a a mishmash of a video this one but I know a lot of you wanted to see Robin Hood's Bay and it really is a beautiful place I was talking to Jax the lady in the the art shop there and I said I'm sort of uh, my own worst enemy in a way because I make videos of these places and then tell people to come and then I sort of complain I don't complain but I joke about how busy it is and how packed out it is and 
it's getting really busy now this car park's just about full uh, if you do want to come to places like this and this is the beauty of van life I guess you can arrive sort of fairly early that's the best thing to do and then just have a quick look round where there's not as many people in summer it's going to be absolutely rammed and there's all like the lovely cottages they're all sort of it's really sad you know when they're owned by people from down south and stuff like that they're all airbnbs and you know cottages to rent and it's a little bit it's a little bit uh, sad really because the locals are priced out so anyway thank you so much for joining me on this video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe also click that notification bell so you get to see my videos when they come up i think my next video will i don't know if i'll do something in bridlington i'm a I'm a bit, I, I think I overthink things. I'm thinking, do I do another video in Bridlington? I absolutely love Bridlington because it's my happiest memories and I'm going to be there with my daughter and my nephew and we'll have a great time. Do I do a vlog in Bridlington? And I know a lot of you do love the Bridlington vlogs, but I don't want people to say, oh, you're just doing Bridlington all the time. I'll have a think about it. But if I don't do that, then there'll be another one of me on my own. I don't know where I'm going yet. I've got a few ideas. I've got a list. Thank you for all the brilliant ideas you've given me. And then next weekend. Oh, I don't know. I lose track. But I've got another one with Helen coming up as well. Anyways. Thanks for watching. I love you all. And I'll see you there.